Um, we've been working on a, a fairly long-term project on sawfish in, uh, in the Bahamas with, it, with um, uh, most of the work concentrated in the island of Andros. And we need to know if there's exchange between the U.S. population of sawfish and other nearby populations. And so the, the only other relatively robust population of sawfish that we are aware of is, is in Bahamas primarily on the island of Andros. But when we started this, there was no evidence that there was any kind of pupping going on in the Bahamas. There have been zero small juveniles ever seen. So one hypothesis was that those in, in the Bahamas could just be vagrants just coming through the Bahamas that, that are, are part of those that were born in the United States. So on our very first day here, and our very uh, first pair of sets, of uh, longline sets to catch sawfish. We caught it. The biggest one we've caught to date, the first in, in, in the Bahamas at least, um, and the first one that's definitely a confirmed adult. Um, she was 429 centimeters long, so about four, almost 14 feet long, big animal. And to our shock and awe, um, when we flipped her upside down, uh, we, we noticed rostra protruding from her, uh, from her um, cloaca and so she was clearly, clearly pregnant. We delivered five of the pups, it's the first time that's ever been documented, delivering pups in the wild, from, from a, probably from any of the five species of sawfish. Um, and uh, we delivered five, we got genetic samples from them, we tagged them with, with small little passive integrated transponders, kind of the same little chips you give your dog or your cat, and we released them. So, um, uh, so that's uh, the first confirmation that without a doubt they're pupping pumping here in Andros, and that also gives us um, genetic samples from five animals that are definitely to be born in Andros that we can use uh, to start uh, uh, looking at genetic uh, exchange between this population and, and that in the, in the United States. A lot of people may know that small tooth sawfish was the first native marine fish listed as endangered under the U.S. Endangered Species Act. So it's a, um, really important find. We only caught one sawfish on this trip, but that one sawfish was worth, worth several trips to get that one.